Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a beautiful rich emerald green eye look and this is a look that I did on Emma Roberts a few weeks ago for a red carpet and there were so many requests on Instagram to see it as a tutorial which I was surprised about because green's quite polarising it's kind of a love or hate thing but I think it can look great on everyone I do have a bit of a cold today so bear with me if I sound nasal and my eyes might be a little bit watery I've put some cold pads underneath just to help with my the way my eyes are feeling and I'm going to leave these on actually while I start the makeup so I'm going to go straight in with the eye use a little bit of primer this is just NARS Pro Prime because this green was the the color itself was very vibrant but it was mixed with grays and slightly deeper colors just to ground it and I think that's quite a nice way to wear very bright colors oh my eyes are watering I feel like I'm really gonna sneeze in a minute um, so the first thing I'm going to use is a gray and you can just use any matte gray that you have you can have a little bit of shimmer in, but just not too shiny. I'm just gonna go all over my lids with this and just keep this really soft. This is almost like your base coat. You can map out a rough shape, but you don't have to worry about making it look anything other than just a wash of color. So now I'm gonna go in with the green. I'm going to dampen my brush, so. And I'm going to put on a really strong green colour. This is from my eyeshadow palette that I made, so I'm not really sure what colour this, um, which brand this is. But I will find out and I'll pop it on the screen. So this is just a most amazing colour. Oh my god. So green. So metallic. Particularly when the brush is wet. Just take off a little bit of the water so it's more damp, but make sure it's really damp. And then pick up as much pigment as you can of these strong jewel colours. I'm actually just going to use a slightly darker green and blend that up and out into the grey. It's good having these pads underneath because they're catching all the fallout as well and then just spend a bit of time going backwards and forwards small circles really buffing the edge of the green into the gray even just with a clean brush you can do this you don't really need another color because they'll just blend into each other and then for the shape I haven't actually discovered the shape yet I'm going to get towards the outer corner but if your eyes particularly are hooded or if they have you have a heavy lid my lids are quite heavy I'm probably going to do this shape I prefer to do the shape once I'm doing the underneath shadow so once I'm doing the color underneath then I'm more likely to create the shape from underneath up and out so on top for the moment I'm keeping it as a soft slightly elongated cloud of color like that so i'm going to go back underneath this is with the green color slightly damp brush again i'm going to go all the way along ah oh, i forgot to put the pencil in okay i used a really strong green pencil this is by uh kiko super bright color really going to work this into the waterline it's going to go bit by bit Oh, about to sneeze. <sighs> no, it didn't. Oh, it's a great colour. So green. Bring that right into the inner corner. It's not a colour that I would use very often on the waterline, but I think, I don't know, it just felt like such a good idea at the time. And I think, you know, in terms of what kind of colour eyes you need to wear this kind of look, it really is, I don't really subscribe to that, you have to have brown eyes to wear green eyeshadow, all that stuff. I think it's about, you know, really loving the colour and wanting to play with the colour. And I think this kind of colour can work with lots of different eye colours. So 
So I'm going to go along with the green. This dark green actually has quite a lot of black in it as well. So in certain lights, I don't know how it's going to look on camera, but in certain lights here when I'm looking in the mirror, I can definitely see it more as a black, particularly when it's wet. But then in other, as soon as I change the angle, it's very, very iridescent green, which is what makes it so rich and jewel-like. So hopefully you'll be able to see that. Okay, I'm just going to blend along the whole of the lower line there. Then when you get to the outer edge, look straight ahead in the mirror and that's where you can do your shape. So I usually just kind of swoop up from there when your eyes are open and that way you can get such a good shape for your eye shape. You can kind of create the whole look of the shadow. So I'm using a mixture of the green uh, with a little bit of black eyeshadow powder. And then that's the general kind of shape. And I'll finish that off once I've done my base and concealer. So before I do anything else with my eyes, I'm going to just put a base on. So I'm going to go all over with my foundation lightly and then do concealer. I just give my eyes a little bit of time to settle down. And once the base is on and the concealer, then I can really check the shape and the blending and just see how, you know, if I like the eyes and I like the shape. I think it's good to do things in stages and build up the picture slowly. I'm going to use a touch of concealer just underneath my eyes. I'm going to have to take all the shadow away because with this smoky look, I'm going to end up looking really dark under the eyes. I'm going to pat that one in. And then I'm going to just do some pinpoint concealing on the rest of my face on any blemishes or pigmentation or marks. And I'm going to go quite into that corner as well. Just going to lift any shadows there. I'll steal a bit from that side. Just go in there. So you need some black mascara next underneath, all through the lower lashes to start with. I've got to start using eyelash serum again, I've noticed, and brow serum, I just got lazy and stopped using it. And now I really notice the difference, particularly in my brows and my lower lashes. I have to put a note on my bathroom wall, put your eye serum on. And then curling the upper lashes. And then the inner corner I'm going to do a lighter green. It's the really light chartreuse green. Mixed with the colour on my lid. That's actually too light. Just mix a little darker green in. So now I'm going to do brows. I'm going to use a pencil and I'm just filling in with lots of small strokes any of the gaps there. I've got quite a lot of growth underneath my brow, but I'm Probably not going to pluck it, so I'm just going to fill in. And then just towards the front there, put a few extra hairs in. I want them to look natural, so I'm not going to make the line around the edge too regular. If it's a little bit more up and down, it looks just looks more natural really. Okay, so I've made them look quite full. So I have to match up now to the other eye. 
roughly anyway, not perfectly, but this one needs to come a lot fuller. And I need to give myself a slightly higher arch on this one. Just keep brushing with your eyebrow brush. It really helps. So next I'm going to use some highlighter just at the top of the cheekbones using the stick. This is really nice and easy to use. I'm not going to use too much of this because it's quite sh shimmery, quite glittery. I'm just going to use a tiny bit on the top of my cheekbones. And then underneath of that, I'm going to use some matte bronzer. This is one of the Fenty Beauty ones. This is a good color because it's not too dark. And I'm going to use that a little bit like a contour, but just very softly. More like a bronzing powder. Slightly contoury, but... Just to bring some shape into the face. I'm also going to use a small powder brush and just use this to blend the edge of the shadow as well. So bring a little bit of the bronzer in there. Just stops having any harsh edges. So close to the nose, buffing in the edges, and then just taking out. I'm also gonna use that underneath as well. That's quite a nice tip if you want to finish off your smoky eyes and have them look a little bit softer. So I'm going to keep my lips quite natural. I'm going to use a little bit of pencil. Just to add some fullness. And then I'm going to use this lip colour by Bare Minerals. I haven't tried this before. It looks like a good colour. It's quite matte, so I think it's going to be good with this very shiny, jewel-like eye to have a lip which doesn't compete. So this is more like a matte stain, I'd say. That's a nice colour. I do think I need a little bit of blush with that, though. I'm going to use some warm rose blush not too much but just helps when you've got that really pale lip to have a little bit of colour in your cheeks it ended up quite 80s really I think with the full brows because I went so full with my brows and then the slightly catty eye with the deep emerald green I think it's, um, I really like this look. It definitely feels quite vampy. And I think it's fun to play with green shades. Just mix them with greys and some of those more neutral tones if you're not really sure. And you could even use a darker, you could use a black on the inside of your eye if you want to make it more smoky. But um, yeah, it's definitely quite fun. So enjoy playing with your green eyeshadows. See you soon.